Hey my friends, welcome back to another episode of the Euro Cooking Canuck. Once again, thanks so very much for joining me. Big shout out to all of my new subs. Hey guys, welcome and of course welcome back to my current subs. I hope you're all doing really well. Guys, on today's segment of Memories of Macedonia, I'm going to be showing you something that is so easy you won't believe it. Um, guys, what we're doing today is called Tigvichki so Kislo Mleko. And basically what that translates to, Tigvichki is like a courgette or zucchini, and Kislo Mleko is sour milk. Now don't, don't get turned off by that. You can use yogurt. Um, and I'll get more into that as I show you this method. I say method, guys, because it's basically putting things together. It's really, really simple. I have this in Oak Ridge, and when I did, I couldn't believe it. It was just so good. Guys, you can have this for breakfast, you can have this for lunch, or you can use this as a side dish to a larger meal. Um, either way, you're going to love it. It's very refreshing and it's very light. So guys, without further ado, let's get in the kitchen and make beautiful Macedonian Tigvichki Sokiso Mleko. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen countertop. Now normally I would say, as usual, all the, the amounts and ingredients will be below in the description bar. However, guys, there is no amount with this recipe. You basically are making what you're going to need, what you're going to consume. If you're making a lot, you'll need more zucchini. If you're making a little, maybe just one for yourself. So guys, you know the basics. I'll show you the ingredients, but as far as how much you use, that is up to you, okay? So what I have here is my tigmichki, or zucchini courgettes. Now, um, mostly in Europe we get these light pale ones, or sometimes they're variegated. Use what you can find. If you can find these, fantastic. So um, I've washed these, and what you're gonna do is you're just simply gonna, well, take off the top and bottom, And then you're gonna cut these into rounds. And you don't want them too thick. They should be maybe an eighth of an inch, I'd say. Okay, not too thick. So go ahead and start cutting up your zucchini. Now guys, a little bit of info. When I had this, I was blown away by it. And of course, I always like to do some research. And what I found out is that many, many countries in the Balkans, Southern Europe, um, as well as the Middle East, um, Arabic countries, and even India, all have some kind of take on a recipe with courgettes and yogurt. Um, some are stuck, some have different. Uh, seasonings and uh, herbs but get back here you but we all have some kind of take on it and like I said guys this is light refreshing now it is served either room temp or cold it's not to be served hot or warm otherwise your yogurt will just turn into a mess so guys I'm gonna continue cutting up my courgette here and I'll bring you back and show you what I do with them next. Alright guys, I have my courgettes, my tikvichki all cut up into rounds here. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and season. So use a little bit of sea salt. I'm using pink Himalayan. And you're going to season both sides guys. Okay. Cracked black pepper. Then you're gonna hit it with a little bit of garlic granule. Do not use garlic salt, guys. You can use garlic powder. But I like the granules because they don't tend to clump like the powder. And don't use garlic salt, as I said, you've already salted this. And then you're going to use, a if you want it a little bit spicy, you can use the Kopsko pepper or hot chili flakes 
uh, ground chilies with the paprika or you can just simply use a bit of paprika um, it's up to you or if you want you can omit this so guys I'm going to season the other side and I'm going to do these in batches and I'll bring you back and show you the next step very easy guys very very easy all right guys what I have in my pan is some vegetable oil and you want to use vegetable oil for this part uh, don't use olive oil because it doesn't have a high smoking point and we're going to go ahead and start adding our courgettes you can grill these if you like as well and if you really wanted to you can deep fry them but I think that will give it all different flavor altogether. So I have my heat on medium low and we're going to keep an eye on these and we just want to get some color on the bottom. We're going to flip them maybe about a minute on each side and then we're going to place them on this plate with the kitchen towel and I'll show you what that looks like in just a sec. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and flip my courgettes now. You just wanna get a bit of color. You don't want them to be super, super dark. That one can probably go a bit longer. And just continue with the rest of your courgettes. When they're done, place them on the kitchen uh, towel uh, lined plate, okay? Hey guys, I'm at my last batch here of my courgettes. So I'm gonna take them out. And like I said, you don't want them really brown. You want some color. And they should be soft, but not mushy. If they fall apart on you, you cook them too long. So I'm gonna take these out. And while my pan is still warm, optionally for a nice garnish, just gonna put in a couple of luto piperki, some hot peppers, and uh, this will be on the side. Right guys, so I'm just gonna quickly fry these up very lightly. I don't want them completely charred. And then I'll bring you back and show you what I do next. Hey guys, so all of our courgettes are done and they're back on the, over here resting on the kitchen towel. So the next step I want to show you is the kislo mleko. So guys, this is kislo mleko and I'll show you its consistency is, well, like a very thick yogurt. Now, there's different variations of it. It can be extremely thick according to the fat content or looser. So guys, as you can see, you can use yogurt. If your yogurt is thin, you can use yogurt mixed with a little bit of sour cream if you like. Now I do have another tub in case I need it. Like I said guys, it's all about feel, you know? So my kislo maleko is in my bowl here. Now here's an optional step. I have a little bit of what we call copa, which is dill. This is optional. And you can put that in. And then a little bit of salt. And give this a mix. Now guys, what you can also do if you want is you can add some garlic to this if you want. Uh, I'm not going to because I have garlic granules on the zucchini. But if you like, what you can do is just macerate, make a paste out of garlic in your mortar and pestle. Just give it a good bash until it's a paste and add it to your yogurt or kislo mleko. Alright guys, so I'm just going to give this 
a quick taste. And that's perfect. Perfect. And I'll come back and show you how we put together this recipe. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and put together our tikvichki so kiso mleko. So you're gonna start off with a bit of your kiso mleko or yogurt if you're using it. And spread that around um, the bottom of your bowl or serving dish, whatever you're using. Then go ahead and start layering in your tikvichki. It's kind of like a lasagna in a way, guys. And like I said, they should be soft, but not falling apart on you. So I'll just show you one layer or so, and then you guys will get the idea. It's great when you have different sizes because it fills it all up. So then again, top of your kiso mleko. And then continue with another layer. So you're going to continue doing this until you reach the top or you simply run out of ingredients. And try and use different sizes to fill it up. Alright guys, so I'm going to continue layering. It's not rocket science guys. Your zucchini, your yogurt. Zucchini, yogurt. And I'll show you what I do in the end. Hey guys, I'm back real quick to show you. I did have to open up the other tub and I just added the dill and salt to it, but you can see this has a much thicker consistency because it's a little bit higher in the fat content. Um, so like I said, um, if you want, you can add a little bit of sour cream if your yogurt is too runny, okay? Last layer, guys, and you wanna make the last layer the thickest layer. This, I've had, I've sneaked, I had to sneak a piece. I can't even talk because it's so good. It's so good. Guys, oh my gosh. And then you're gonna save a couple for garnish on top. And guys, bring this to the table and let's serve it up. Can't wait. Hey guys, so our tikvichki so kisel mleko is all done. I've garnished it with just a little bit of the dill and of course I have my hot peppers over here um, that I'm gonna have alongside of this. If you'd like, you can have this with bread. I'm gonna have a little bit of balitza and I will show you guys a different video on that all together. So guys, I hope you try this. It's very simple, it's so good. And thank you so much for watching this segment of Memories of Macedonia here with the Euro Cooking Canuck. Please comment, like, share the video. And guys, my Facebook page will be below. I'd love to have you join me on there. Guys, again, the ingredients will be listed below, but no measurements. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Guys, thank you so much. Fala novo, prietno, aile, ciao.